Thanks for taking the time to view this Rockton Software Auditor demonstration. Auditor is a simple data change management tool that allows you to track field and record level changes to your system. So now you can easily see what was changed and who made the change. But before we get started, let's see what an actual audit can track in Microsoft Dynamics GP. Auditor integrates with SmartList in Microsoft Dynamics GP and tracks old and new values of data fields. So now you can answer the who, what, when, where, how, and why of the data changes in your system. You can even set up Auditor to email a person in the organization when a highly sensitive field is modified. Auditor also has the ability to set up electronic approvals before data is changed. Now let's take a look at a few examples using Auditor. In this example, we are tracking when the company name or statement name fields are changed on the customer maintenance window. Note that not all fields have to be audited for change. With Auditor, you have the power to select which fields are important to track for your organization. I have selected the customer I wish to make a change to. I make a change to the customer name field and save the changes. In this example, we have set up our system to require a note when the customer name is changed. Users will be able to select from a list of predefined reasons which allows for a quick data entry and consistent reporting. Users will also have the option to enter freeform text in the note reason field if predefined reasons do not exist or do not apply. Once the reason is saved, we can view the audit details in SmartList. All audits are automatically tracked in SmartList, which allows you to sort, filter, and report on your audits. You will notice user, date, time, and other crucial information is also recorded. Double-clicking on an audit allows you to zoom into the details of the audit. Here you will see the date timestamp, user, workstation, and company information. You will see the audit and event type and what information was changed. Most importantly, the old and new values are recorded on the audit record. As you can see, you can capture some great information using Auditor that doesn't require a lot of time to set up. Auditor setups are straightforward and are done in groupings, allowing you to combine similar audits together for easy management. By grouping audits, you can administer which companies and users are subject to those audits. We also have the ability to set up three types of audits, Form, Table, and SQL. Form audits are set up using a wizard. You can simply open a window and click on the fields you wish to audit. Window audits are used when you would like to only track changes to currently existing fields or records. Table audits are used when a record is added, deleted, or modified. You can track who changed what on the record. An understanding of database structures is helpful when using this method. SQL table audits can be used to audit inserts, updates, and deletes that occur in any table in any database on the SQL Server instance where Dynamics GP and Auditor are currently installed. Additional field options also exist so you can send an email of the audit, modify how your audits will work, or set up conditional audits. Two additional features included with Auditor is the ability to manage security changes and define segregation of duties. In this segregation of duties example, we have created the security group of windows which represents creating vendors and payables transactions. We can add any number of windows to this group which defines a number of similar tasks. Next, we created a second group which defines processing a check and payments to vendors. Our goal is to create a group of windows which will be mutually exclusive in having security to the previous group. In this example, we don't want users to have access to enter payments, edit or print checks if they have access to the previous group which allows them access to create a vendor and enter payables transactions. Once at least two groups are created, you can create exclusions between any two groups. Here we specify an exclusion ID or rule meaning we don't want users to have the ability to create a vendor transaction and then cut that vendor a check. Please be aware that if you are using our Dynamics GP Toolbox in conjunction with this Segregation of Duties feature within Auditor, any Segregation of Duty conflicts will appear in the Security Manager window. 
As previously mentioned, Security Audits is also part of Auditor. Auditor automatically tracks all changes to user security as well as all changes to role, task, and alternate modified forms and reports ID definitions within Microsoft Dynamics GP. These security audits appear in SmartList under Security Audits. Whenever an audit occurs, you can choose to log the reason the change was made. As other audits from within Auditor, you can double-click on an audit to view the specific details of the change, thus giving you a simple and easy tool to see all security changes within your system. The last feature included with Auditor is eSign. This is an electronic signature feature which allows you to specify where a signature is required prior to the change taking effect within Microsoft Dynamics GP. In this example, we have configured eSign to require a signature when a change is made to the statement name of a customer. Once the change is made, the approval window appears and the user will need to enter their GP password, a reason for the change, and select an approver and approval method. Approvals can either be sent directly through GP using the Submit option, or a user can have an approver process the approval at their workstation by simply choosing the Approve button. In this example, we've selected to approve on screen. If we would choose to submit, the approver selected would receive an eSign pending approval request message in their GP session. The approver would then need to open the request and approve or deny it. As is with the core auditor functionality, the changes made using eSign will be captured and available to view from within SmartList. Double-clicking on a line allows you to zoom into the eSign approval inquiry screen. As you can see, the same vital information such as time and date stamp, requester, and the old and new values have all been recorded. We are now reaching the end of this product overview. Please use the contact information on the screen to request more information on the product or to set up a custom demonstration. Thank you again for taking the time to view this demonstration.